Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Lincoln MKC, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, we're gonna need to get behind each of the side panels. So we're going to start by removing the floor coverings. Next, we'll remove the spare tire. All right, so next we're gonna remove our storage trays. We're going to remove the two clips on the sides, and we'll be using a trim panel removal tool. And then we'll remove the driver's side panel, and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Next, we're gonna re remove our scruff panel and we're gonna start by removing these two push pins towards the center of the panel. And at each end of the scruff panel, there is a screw that we'll remove, and we'll remove that using a T25 torque screw. And we'll go ahead and pull up on the panel and we'll set it aside. Now on the driver's side, we're going to open up this hanger right here. And there's a screw that is holding the panel in place. So using a T25 Torque X, we'll remove that. And then we will repeat on the passenger side. All right, starting on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and pull back on our panel. We'll start at the bottom here, and then there's a clip right back here. So we'll use our trip panel removal tool and pop that out. And as you can see, you have that clip. All right behind the panel, we have a loom of wires right here. This is where our, our wires that we will be needing is, are located. So we're just gonna unhook it real quick from its tab. So we're gonna pull out on it a little bit. All right, now you're going to need to locate your two wires for the driver's side harness. You are, you are going to need to find the gray wire with the brown stripe in the blue wire with a gray stripe. All right, now we're gonna take the root connectors that were included with the kit, and we're gonna clamp, clamp one onto each of those wires. All right, once you have it lined up, we'll use a pair of pliers and clamp it in. So we're gonna take the yellow wire and we're gonna plug it in to the connector on the gray and brown wire. And then we'll take our brown wire and connect it to the blue and gray wire. Now we're gonna go ahead and ground our white wire to the side of the vehicle and we're gonna use the included tap screw with a quarter inch socket. If you would like to keep your four flat wiring by your spare tire, you can do so right there. But we're going to bring our four flat wire down by the hitch to mount it right next to it. So we're going to go ahead and put it through this grommet that will allow us to bring it down towards the hitch. Okay, now that we have our four flat through, 
we're just going to cut a little slit through the side and then we'll put our four flat wire through the slit and we'll put the grommet back into place okay now with our four flat inside the grommet we're going to use some black silicone to seal that cut and then we're going to go ahead and connect our power wire to our black wire on the converter box and we'll be using a heat shrink buck connector And we're gonna go ahead and use our butane torch. Now we're just gonna take our converter box and tuck it behind. And then we'll leave our green wire and power wire towards the spare tire area. And we'll put our panels back into place. And now we're gonna open up the passenger side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this clip. And then we're gonna pry open the cloth tape. Now you're going to locate only one wire in this bundle. We want the violet wire with the orange stripe. And then we'll go ahead and put our connector on. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in our green wire into that connector. All right, so we're gonna be hooking up our power wire to our fuse box back here on the passenger side. So we don't need this much wire, so we're just gonna find an approximate length and cut it from there. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our fuse holder to our power wire. And we'll be using our heat shrink buck connectors. And then we'll go ahead and connect our terminal ring onto the other side of the fuse holder. And then using our butane torch, we'll go ahead and use the heat shrink. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and connect our fuse holder to our terminal on the fuse box. And we're going to remove that nut using a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll connect our terminal ring. And we'll reinstall the nut. And then we will place our included 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. All right, now we're gonna take our extra wire and we're gonna tuck it up underneath this floor covering right here. All right, now we're gonna take our extra green wire and the remaining power wire. And we're going to use a zip tie and secure it to the existing wiring.
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall all of our paneling. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the two side hooks. Then we'll reinstall the push pin. And then we'll reinstall our two cargo panels. Then we'll put our spare tire back into place. And then we'll take our floor paneling and reinstall it. All right, now that everything is plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and secure our four flat harness. We're gonna bring it over here next to the hitch. So we want to avoid the exhaust, so we're gonna go over the bumper support to bring it over there. Using the bracket as a template, we're gonna go ahead and drill the two holes. And we'll be using a 3 16th drill bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our screw into place. And then we'll go ahead and attach one side and we'll be using the locking nut. And we'll go ahead and tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. And we're gonna go ahead and put our dust cover on and then we'll slide it in to the mounting bracket and then we'll secure the dust cover. And then we're just gonna secure the wire to the hitch. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us at uhaulhitches.com.